Hey y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the Tiki Party Frenzy Collection that's available right now from Colores de Carol. These were sent to me for review and I'll link her storefront and social media down below. This is a collection of five beautiful glitter toppers and I'll get right into it. So first up is Tiki and this is described as a clear base with the fun neon micro glitters and micro hollow glitters. So this one does have smaller glitters. It also has some tiny bar glitters in there as well. They laid nice and flat, beautiful touch to this polish. So I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot and I'll show you how Tiki swatched today over both white and black. I am using gel bases today. So here is a look at one coat of Tiki over black. One coat made for a beautiful dense finish. I did kind of have to play around with the particles to get them spread out exactly where I wanted them to, but that's really part of the fun. I don't think that this is one that you're really going to want to build up to full opacity. I'll go ahead and show you how it looks over white. My camera did kind of flood this out a little bit, but it is a beautiful over white. I think I actually prefer this one over a white base. So again, I did have to play around with those glitters a little bit just to get them nice and spread out. This one does dry down textured, so I definitely do recommend a nice glossy top coat, but here's a look at that completed mani at one coat over white and black. And this is my swatch photo with a glossy top coat at an angle under that artificial lighting. So next up is Hula Hula, and this is described as a clear base with fun neon glitters, micro hollow glitter, and black and white glitters. So you do get a larger variety in terms of sizes as well as colors here. Lots of bright green and some beautiful purple scattered throughout. These are neon reactive as well. So I'll go ahead and show you a quick brush shot and then I'll show you how Hula Hula swatched first over black. So again, these are beautifully dense. They are a little bit base heavy, but that's definitely going to help keep those glitters suspended. I did kind of have to play around a little bit just to get those glitters nice and spread out. They kind of wanted to bunch up a little bit, but no issues at all. I think these are going to be awesome for glitter placement as well. So now I'll show you how it swatched over white. Again, my camera did kind of want to blare out those bright neon colors. You can see those blues and purples popping and the black glitters here a little bit better than it did over the black base. It's really going to be personal preference what you want to put this over. I think it'd be really fun over just straight and neon creams as well. So again nice and spread out of those glitters. So here's a look at that completed mini at one coat over black and white. Again those larger glitters do make for some texture so I definitely do recommend a nice glossy or matte top coat. This is my swatch photo at an angle under that artificial lighting. So next up is Mai Tai, and I do believe that this is my top pick of the collection. This is described as a clear base with fun neon glitters, micro hollow glitter, and black and white glitters. So I did have a scotch of settling here. I do recommend just turning that bottle upside down just for a few minutes to get those glitters a little bit more dispersed. Here's a quick look at that brush shot, and then I'll show you how Mai Tai swatched for me over black. So here's a quick look at that. Those beautiful hollow glitters pop gorgeously on this black base. Those neons are a fun pop as well, but you do lose a little bit of those black glitters. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like over white as well. So here's a quick look at that. This was my favorite combination. Very bright, very summery, and I love that you get all all of those color elements on that white base. So again, I did have to play with them just a little bit to get them nice and spread out. But here's a look at that completed mani at one coat over both white and black. Super fun, very bright, lots of bright pinks and oranges in this mix. This is my swatch photo with a glossy top coat at an angle under artificial lighting. So next up is Luau, and this one is also described as a clear base with fun neon glitters, micro hollow glitter, and then black and white glitter. So this one is a little bit of a softer mix. It does have nice bright pinks in there, some soft beautiful purples as well as some blues, again with those white and black glitters. So here's a quick look at that brush shot, and then I'll show you how Luau swatched for me today over both white and black. So here's a quick look at how it pops over black. These colors are beautiful over black. I love that that hollow really shows through. I think this is going to be gorgeous over like a dark navy too where you get all of those kind of color collaborations between the pinks, purples, and blues. So again, I did have to play around just a little bit to get it nice and spread out exactly how I liked it. Now I'll show you how it swatches for me over white. So over white, I got a big color payoff of those bright circle glitters and the bright pinks and the purples. Those really shine off a white base. I did have a little fuzzy there, but I just laid it down because that's how I roll. So here's a look at that completed mani at one coat over both white and black before top coat. So a little bit of texture going on here. This is my final swatch photo at an angle underneath artificial lighting with a glossy top coat. So lastly today I have Aloha and this one is a little bit different from the rest of the collection. It's described as a clear holographic base with fun rainbow glitters, micro and hollow glitters. The glitters in all the other polishes are more bright, neon, opaque. These are translucent, really cool to play with. I'll go ahead and show you a brush shot and then I'll show you how Aloha swatched today for me over both white and black. So here's a quick look at how it swatched over black. 
You are going to lose some of those rainbow glitters over a black or dark base because they are more translucent. They're not going to pop well over that black base, but the hollow is amazing there. So next I'll show you how Aloha swatched for me over white. Over white you're going to get more of those gorgeous squishy rainbow glitters, but you are going to lose a little bit of the hollow. The payoff is totally worth it though. So here's a look at that completed mini at one coat over both white and black before top coat. This is going to make for minimal texture here, not so much as the others. This is my final swatch photo at an angle with a glossy top coat, and that does wrap up my swatch and review of the Tiki Party Frenzy collection that is available right now from Colora the Carol. I will have a swatch and review of the Romantics collection coming very soon soon. I'm so excited to share those gorgeous nudes with y'all. If you'd like to see more photos of this collection, I do have those available on my blog at sloppyswatches.com or you can also follow me on Instagram at sloppyswatches. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.